Oh, come on. How are you not annexing at all? Oh, wait, negative three. <laughs> I shouldn't have been so eager. Oh, it's gonna go away soon. Also, what are we missing? Diplo advisor, but we have no good replacement advisor. Amazing. Don't worry, we'll get you back. We'll get you back. After we have a next Kazan. It's attempting to click the button. But we have to wait, otherwise we'll have like a civil war while we are westernizing. And that sounds like a very, very bad idea. Hmm, gain some admin. 430 tickets. Gain some piety. I don't think we need any more piety, do we? Oh, are we still... No, we don't really need any piety. Invite everybody! If Dronigov, like, had only 50 liberties or some such, then yeah, I could just have placated him. But it was too much. The Lord of Kiva. I'll accept. Keeps us nicely below 75. I mean, that event can actually fire. Oh, interesting. Why not? <gasps> oh, yes! I mean, sure, England is an annoying ally for them to have, but I guess somebody, like the game was dictating that somebody had to rival Sweden because nobody was rivaling Sweden. And that can't be, right? So Novgorod took up the job. Good job. <laughs> now our northern front looks very good now. Now I shouldn't underestimate him. But it certainly looks a lot better than he used to. Let's see who's the strongest of them all. We're up there, but we're also very close to our limit compared to everybody else. <laughs> uh, they're all just fine with annexation now. Bunch more Corsani cores, but what about annexing them? I think that's a great idea. If we annex them, then we have like a bunch of potential en enemies to attack. Well, on the other hand, we don't really have a great CB anymore. Our amazing Horde CB is gone. No! So bad. So, so bad. Well, I think we'll take religious ideas eventually. Or maybe expansion. Expansion could be pretty good. Especially considering that we still have a lot of Sunni land to expand into.
1531. And that's when we'll be able to get him back. And I will get him back. Especially if nobody else does anything. And I'd gladly pay the Diplo points. Getting back. Hopefully this time around I stop from being too rambunctious. Come on, disaster. I want that plus three stability. Probably shouldn't have taken that. Probably shouldn't have, because we were close enough to be below. Effects. Oh, too bad. I don't even know where it is. Yay! Against Novgorod. Which now has new allies. England and the Teutonic Order. That's all right with me. Are they always this small? I think so. They look smaller to me. Almost done with Lithuania. Oh no. You've always been losing? Not really. Yes, we're going to attack soon, June, July. As soon as we're not breaking a truce anymore. That will cost us a few points. Don't expect it to be too expensive in, the, in terms of Diplo. No, oh, almost there. Only one more year. Yes, I'm just taking them back right now. Then I'll just see to it that they won't 
be too annoying. And I think we'll be able to do it. Especially with the constantly lowered autonomy. <laughs> what a cool nation we have. What a cool, cool nation. Maybe we should just eat the land. Because fuck it. Why not? We have some admin spare, right? Crush the opposition. We lose one whole prestige. <laughs> finish this quickly. I have legitimacy of at least 90. Need 30 more legitimacy almost. I took that stupid raw marriage. But at least there's not too much for an uproar. There we go, lose some prestige, gain some legitimacy. Very easy, very good. Native's not ex Why do we even get that? We have no, like, colony. No place where the natives would be needing to assist us. Dove is done. Okay, 18 more, please. Care. The national unrest is kind of getting annoying though. <laughs> kind of tend to just eat the land. <laughs> Producing fur, really annoying. Could just take out everything. They screw it and cord right away. Their hand taking land during a disaster is probably not the best idea. Can also just keep the war going for a little bit. Just 
still have like three years. Free war time. <laughs> and they got their alliance with Brandenburg right back after they were at war with them. Of course. No, oh, still waiting for the events. Hopefully we can finish this disaster before... All of these guys fire. It would be very unfortunate if we had to like run all over our country and put down rebels. Very, very unfortunate. Come on, why are we not getting any any events? Aren't there like monthly events? A trip fire now? Monthly events, but non fire. There we go. So the war brings our nations to its knees. Oh, come on. Stop. There's nothing we can do. Under Adam for 10 legitimacy or a bunch of money for 5 legitimacy. Mm, I'm almost inclined to do the 100 admin. If we do this twice, then we still are like getting ahead by far. No, just get the 5. What? Oh, there. Okay, cool. Very nice. Support one side and get five legitimacy. Nice, you only need 10 more legitimacy. Oh, oh there. Destroy him. I wish destroying pretenders would give you legitimacy. Um, nothing we can do. I think we can do something. Oh, oh, oh! Legitimacy needed? Not a lot. I mean,. Sure, we're losing one prestige a year, or actually only 0.5 prestige a year. Not prestige, I mean legitimacy, but yeah, that doesn't matter that much. Lend support? Do not lend support. Lend support! Well, let's just wait a little bit. How about we just lower army maintenance? Because I think we still have some time on the rebels, don't we? Yes, we do. Oh, crap. Well, one of them is better than the other. Victor's ours. The problem is now that we have to take a loan, which is slightly annoying. Still, hey, we got... We essentially got free... Three stability out of this event. It only cost us a little bit of, of money. Well, money and prestige. We lost a ton of prestige and a ton of money. 
But the event is over. All of our rebels can just go away now. And I'll gladly flock them for their insubordination over here. That was probably not worth it. <laughs> uh, but still. Ah, oh, crap. We can't westernize right now. Damn it, I should have clicked the button while at war. I could, pro could probably not have done it either. Anyways, we don't have to do that much. Get that loan repaid as soon as possible, I think. How's our provincial unrest? Journey off us a little bit. Not that much, considering that they are the wrong religion. That's right. Frack you. Coolish map mode. Ooh. <laughs> Novgorod is like very, very pissed. Okay, now we can just gain a few points, of course. Which will help us to westernize a little bit quicker. On the other hand, our westernization will probably take a ton of time. Oh, fuck. Five monarch points. Oh, holy crap. That's the downside of being this big. Westernization will take forever. On the other hand, we have an army that can crush most enemies. And if we go by just, you know, general size on the map, then we are totally the greatest ever. Revelations down here, and maybe we can also annex in parallel to Kazakh. Thousand. How many points did it cost? Five hundred. So when they get to about six hundred, we could theoretically start next in Corazon. We probably won't, though. <laughs> as soon as the cores are done, you can just go ahead and westernize. Damn it, if they had the fort over here, all of them would be covered. What? Why would they do this? They really don't want to be annexed? Well, too bad. It's too late for you. I'll be a whole bunch of land. The entire Kazakh culture is ours. I love it. I love how much Russian culture we actually have. That has a ton of power. Just an absolute shit ton. No, but don't get me wrong, they also have very good provinces. It's most of the provinces that they already had. Or they took from miners like Tver mm, 
Okay, now they're allying with everybody in order to like get Sweden off their back. Ottomans, why would you come to war? Sure, why not? I know why not, because of the westernization. That will be pushed back even further. At least I think I can't westernize while at war. It doesn't tell me that I can't, but I think I can't. If I can, then great! Ottomans, I still only have very few claims. You still don't have your mission. Well, he did claim like everything around him. So that Austria. That Austria. What a nice ass it has. <laughs> well, France is still kind of shit. Well, mostly. Took three provinces, got the Burgundian inheritance, but and they took a little bit of oh, Castile, I guess. Who are your allies? Aachen and Venice. Provence, Austria, and Montreal. Also, I'm very happy that I never attacked Genoa because that could have turned out terribly. Game the core. Very nice. And the other ones are coming in soon. I would love it if I could westernize right now. Oh, wonderful. Wait until they're gone and then... Oh my god, I can actually westernize. That unrest, that advisor cost. I don't care. It's time to begin western. Over a very, very long period of time. Oh, she would show up here. Westernization. I want westernization in this letter. So, it's taking 15 points each month. And we'll be finished in 26 years. Reminds me, I should probably repay my loan. Okay, who is actually rising up against me? Don't Jernaga. I can live with that. any westernization progress ever you really think it's a good idea Novgorod do you really think we're not paying western tech yet are we no Oh, 
Only Sester's monthly increase. There's literally no chance that it's increasing still. Military power is also decreasing, so I don't really have to worry about teching up right now. If I'm being attacked, then I will, but... Fort obsolete yet? I don't think so. There's the next fort incoming. Bastion level 14? Okay. So quite a ways away. No order demands? Sure. Prestige isn't everything. That would be nice. Hello there! I don't know, Sol? Oh, how should I call you? <laughs> You're gonna wreck the Austrian ass? Eventually. That is an eventuality, though. 